In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can potentially get double the sales out of your Google Shopping Ads campaign by converting it into a search campaign. Hi, I'm Daryl, founder of Big Flare, and the process I'll share with you today is something we've done for dozens of e-commerce clients to accelerate their growth. You might be missing out on sales if you are not using your shopping ads search term data to enrich your search text ads. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to capitalize on your shopping ads data to get more sales in search. I'll show you how to do this whether you are running standard shopping or even smart shopping. Before we dive in though, let me ask you a question of the day. Which type of shopping ads campaign are you running right now? Smart or standard? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, with that said, let's dive into the meat and potatoes of today's video. First up, I'm gonna show you this process for standard shopping. Later on, I'll talk about how to adapt this process to work for smart shopping. But whether you're running standard or smart shopping, you're going to need to watch this bit because the process for smart shopping is gonna refer back to this. All right, so let's assume right now that you are running standard shopping. The big advantage of this over smart shopping is that you're gonna have access to the search terms report. It's this report that we're going to use so that you can make more money in your search ads campaign. Open up your shopping campaign in one tab of your browser. Now, in an additional tab, open up your search ads campaign. In the shopping campaign tab, head over to the search terms report and set a nice long date range, like maybe last 120 days. Now, rank the data in descending order based on the number of conversions. What you will now have is a handy list of the search terms that generated the most conversions in your shopping campaign. Start at the top and work your way down. Copy the first item on the list and head over to the other browser tab. Open up your search campaign, go over to your keywords list, and then run a filter over all your keywords for keyword text is, and then paste the search term in there. Now, if you find that the keyword is already active in your search campaigns, then great, you pass the test. Now you can head back to your shopping ads tab, select the next keyword down on the list and do it all again. Keep repeating this process until you find search terms that are converting well in your shopping campaign, but do not yet have a search text ad set up for it. I'm gonna bet that once you've got halfway down the list of your shopping ads converting terms, you are going to have a bunch of new keyword ideas for your search campaign. Now all you need to do is go ahead and add those search terms as keywords to your search campaign. At this point, some of you may be wondering why we would do that. You might be thinking something like, I'm already converting that term in my shopping campaign, so I don't need to also advertise on search, right? Well, if that's what you're thinking right now, you should know this. Advertising on the same keyword in shopping ads and in search ads at the same time provides additional incremental sales that you will not have gotten if you only advertised on that keyword in one of those channels. The reason for this is pretty simple. Google's algorithm decides on the fly in each moment what search results to show to the user. Now for e-commerce related search terms, yeah, Google does often love showing shopping ads at the top of the results but it doesn't always do that. Sometimes Google is going to show only search ads at the top. Sometimes it might not show any ads at the top at all. And sometimes it might show both shopping ads and search ads on the same results page. And in those times, when both types of ads are shown simultaneously, the user, for whatever reason, may decide to click on a search ad instead of a shopping ad. So you see, if you only show shopping ads and not search ads as well, you're gonna miss out on a few bites of the cherry. There are gonna be a few circumstances where a user is gonna search your keyword and then they will end up clicking a search ad, not a shopping ad. If you don't show search ads as well for all your converting terms, you're going to be missing out on a bunch of sales. When I look over most of our e-commerce client accounts, I'm seeing an average split between search ad sales and shopping ad sales of about 50-50. Yeah, it does vary a lot by industry. Some industries might be 80% shopping and 20% search, and some others might be totally the other way around. But the one constant is that if you are making money on a search term in shopping, you can make more money on that same term by making sure it is in your search ads campaign as well. All right, so everything I've just said there is well and good if you are running standard shopping ads. 
But what about those of you who are running smart shopping? With smart shopping, you've got a lot of things easier for you than you do with standard shopping. Check out my video on smart shopping versus standard shopping for a full breakdown of the pros and cons of each. But as you may be aware, the main drawback of smart shopping is that you do not get that awesome search terms data. So that whole process I took you through before is kind of moot, right? Well, yes and no. If you stay with smart shopping only, it's true. You won't be able to enrich your search terms campaign by using that search terms data. But here's the fun part. Nothing is stopping you from changing over to standard shopping, at least for a while. If you have never mined your shopping search terms data before, and you have been running 100% smart shopping the whole time, then I would recommend you convert at least some of your products over to standard shopping for at least a while. You have a few options here. On the one hand, you could just launch a new standard shopping campaign covering all your products, and then you could pause smart shopping to divert 100% of the budget over to standard. This would be the quickest way to get as much actionable search terms data as possible. But the major drawback is that when you switch campaigns this way, you'll see a dip in performance. It's usually going to be a temporary dip as the new standard shopping campaign optimizes, but it will be noticeable. It could take anywhere from one week up to a couple of months for a new standard shopping campaign to get optimized to the same level as your previous smart shopping campaign. So I would use this method with caution. Another alternative way to achieve a similar effect will be this. In your product feed, find your top selling products. Find those 80-20 products, the 20% of products that are getting 80% of your sales. Now what you want to do is create a duplicate version of that product in your feed. The new duplicate version should be exactly the same as the existing one, but you do need to change the item ID in Google. Once you change the item ID, Google is now going to think of that item in your feed as if it is a whole new product. Now, what you can do is create a new standard shopping ads campaign and inside the campaign, you will use the duplicated products with unique item IDs that you just created. Doing it this way will actually give you the best of both worlds. You will continue to get the great performance and ease of use of smart shopping, while at the same time, you will get access to awesome search terms data for your top products which you will then use to get more sales out of your search campaign. So to wrap it up, today I showed you how to review your search terms report for your shopping ads campaign and turn that into new keywords in your search campaign. We learned how you can take advantage of this strategy even if you're running smart shopping ads by duplicating your winning products as new items in the feed then launching those as a separate standard shopping ads campaign. For many of you out there, I'm confident that if you go away and do this, you're going to be making thousands of dollars more in your Google ads campaign each month. So give it a try. Let me know in the comments below if you hit any snags along the way or have any questions. I promise I'll answer each and every question. And if you like this video and want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe and bell button. I release between two to four videos every month I'm always talking about how to grow your e-commerce store using paid ads on Google. Also, if you want to reach out to me about maybe working together in the future, head over to my agency website, bigflare.com, and get in touch with me through there. What you, what you will now have is a, what you, wait, 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 wait. After I've had a soda. Mm. And after time to give free marketing to Chang Soda. Oh, <laughs> my favorite. <coughs> That's why you shouldn't drink soda halfway through. Uh... <laughs> All right.